Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use a unicorn dial plugin and an alert box. So it's basically a combination of both these concepts in a single usage. So if you look at the emulator here I have a single article page uh, where you type for stargazing and then you get this details and say for example you want to share these details to someone or you want to post it on a Facebook or Twitter you have your a unicorn dial button when you click on this it displays few more icons and if you click on the Facebook icon you get an alert dialog box where you can definitely enter details because I've given a text field and you can post it and cancel it so this is a simple usage of both your concepts of this unicorn dial plugin and the dialog box so we'll see how to implement this and uh, I'll clear the template and we'll start working on it. Well, here I have a very bare bone flutter uh, project uh, which has an app bar and um, to achieve this floating button that is basically uh, a unicorn dial plugin. First, you need to get all your plugins details updated in your specification file. I'll leave a link in the description about the details of the plugin and then you need to import the package. So here I I just have a app bar with a stack and a card. So the card is nothing but a column widget with an image and a text. It's, it's a very simple column widget. Now let's focus on the unicorn dial, how to add it and what are the properties related to it. So to add it, I'm going to use floating action button. I'm going to say floating action button and I'm going to use the unicorn dial, dialer. Now inside this are the properties. So the first one has a background factor. I'm going to say true, which means that you need a background. Next, the orientation. There are two orientation. One is the vertical and the horizontal. Here, Whenever you click on this share button, you get all the icons displayed in the vertical fashion. It is also possible to display it in the horizontal fashion. So for that, you need to define your factor here. Either it's um, unicorn orientation vertical or horizontal. So in my case, I'm going to say unicorn orientation. And I'm going to give vertical then uh, there is a couple of other factors like uh, if you want to change the um, icon so for that you could use your parent button which is this one I've used a share button so you could use a, any icon in this place so for that the factor is your parent button next you can also change the parent button background color so I have a custom color so I'm going to use it so definitely there are more factors than this but these are the basic factors that you have to use and uh, the last factor that i'm going to talk about in this uh, unicorn um, dial plugin is that how many icons do you want it's totally your choice and it's optional you can have one or as many you want so since i want four of them i'm going to define my child button there is an attribute called child button and i'm going to give a child button value which is nothing but a list of um, these um, unicorn buttons so what I'm going to do is I'm going to define these child button here so first I'm going to say child button and this list I'm going to define in a couple of seconds okay let's define this list here so let's go here and then we'll use a simple list which is called child button and inside your list, uh, let's add the components. So first my child button, I'm going to add. So I'm going to add a unicorn button value. So it's unicorn button. Um, yeah, it's a unicorn button. So what are the properties inside this button is okay there you go so uh, 
so there's a semicolon okay so first thing uh, you have an attribute called has label I'll show you these properties once I've done with this so this you can also give a label text which is say for example I'm using Facebook so definitely I can say Facebook here and um, the next one is the current button this is where you're gonna say your floating action floating action button and inside this you can use a background color property and I have a custom background color so this is the color of the icon so the color of the icon is if you want blue red or green so it's totally your choice and I think on press is required yeah so another one is a uh, mini it's basically the size of your icon there are two sizes so either uh, it's already fixed here so if you look at it it says if you say false you you get this if you get if you say true it picks up this particular height and width so you can definitely choose which one you want and uh, yeah so I'm giving it a true and then I can also define my icon which is inside the chart so I'm using a font awesome icon so it goes like font awesome icons and I'm going to use Facebook so there you go I have Facebook and we need another important property which is on press that is by clicking on it I want a dialogue to be displayed so in a couple of minutes I would be covering the dialogue part also but as of now I'm just gonna leave it um, I'm just gonna call a function which is gonna say show dialogue and we will define this there you go so this way this is your first child button so it's just one button it's going to display so i'm going to add the other buttons and we will see how it looks on the emulator so i have uh, built this flutter application in fact i've added the couple of other child buttons like the whatsapp uh, google plus and i've built it so here you could see all the icons get added in it now i had few things to show you like has label when I say has label is true and if I give a label text and if I do a hot restart you would be able to see the difference okay there you go so when I click do you see this you can get a label so it is possible to add a label now if I make the mini as false you could see the difference in the icon size so I've done it for the WhatsApp icon. So let's see how does it look. So there you go. You see it's got a bigger radius. So it's purely your choice how you want to play with these icons. Um, and it is also possible to place these icons vertical or horizontal. I'm going to show you that as well. So I'm just going to comment the label which I don't want in my use case and i'm gonna make um, the floating action button horizontal okay there you go so this is a very nice plugin but uh, you can definitely use it depending on your use case yeah so if i click you can see my uh, other buttons are appearing horizontal so so this is about your unicorn dial plugin now we will see how to use the alert dialog box that is when I click on this Facebook or Twitter or any of these icons I need an alert dialog box displaying the content of the same article so that I can post it on my social media so we will see how to do it so let me clear the template for the alert dialog box and we will start doing it okay uh, do you remember that in the whatsapp we had given on press when I click on the whatsapp or the Facebook I need a dialog to be popped up so I gave a function to it so this is the function so what we're going to do is here first thing we're going to define show dialog
okay and um, inside the show dialog uh, you have to define the context yeah there you go you need context and I'm going to give the same context next I'm going to use the builder It's going to be the build context. Okay. And, uh, okay, this is a small C. Okay. So now here we'll start defining our alert box or alert dialog. So, let's see what are the parameters that we can add in our dialog so it's a return it needs a semicolon okay in an alert dialog i'm going to add a title and the next factor is i can add a content and um, yeah so these are the two things that we can add since i don't want to keep it simple i want few more details like the article detail and the image to be displayed i'm creating a custom message uh, function which is going to be show message so I'm going to show you in a second what this show message does so it's a widget so I've defined the show message here I'm going to show you what exactly it does it's nothing but a widget which returns a row date a row uh, widget which is nothing but two details one is an image another one is a text so it's simple but I didn't want to define all these details in the title section so I created a separate widget so I'm just going to use that which is called show message and in the content section what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a text field so that you could add some details when you're posting it on your social media so I'm going to give a decoration text field with a decoration and it's then input decoration okay with some border um, I'm gonna say input border none okay and then also I'm gonna give a hint text so that the users would know what to type say something about this there you go so this is your um, the text that displays in your alert box after this I want to add few more details like this like the actions which are the cancel close or post close so it's entirely your choice so in my case I'm going to use just a simple flat button so I'm just going to use a flat button. I'm just showing you how to use it. So I've used a cancel. It's a flat button with a child cancel text. And when you click on it, it just closes that current stack. That is your alert box. So similar way, I've, you I can also define another one, which is the post. Or you could use a different one. So you could say post and you could direct it to your Facebook or a corresponding social icon um, site. So I think um, it's a semicolon here. Okay, there you go. So this is how you define your alert box. So I'll build it and I'll show you when I click on one of the icons how the pop-up appears. So there you go, I have built it. So when I click on this unicorn dial icon, I get this social icons and when I click on the Facebook I get a dialog displaying the same image that I have clicked with the same title and I would be able to add few text here and then I can click on post or cancel so this is how you could use the combination of this unicorn plugin and alert dialog box in your flutter application if you like this video please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel and if you find this informative, please do share it. Thank you.